Hello and welcome back to another Pixflow tutorial. Today we want to talk about Typo King plugin and learn how to use it. After downloading and unzipping the files, you can see two folders, one for Premiere Pro and the other for After Effects, a quick guide in PDF and a tutorial. In each folder, there is a version for Mac and Windows. I'll use the Windows version to set up the pack on After Effects. It's just the usual next next install. Same for the Mac version. Click on the Typo King PKG file on the Mac folder and give the permissions to install it. After that, restart your Adobe software, in this case After Effects, and from the Windows panel, Extensions, choose Typo King to open it in the panel. Then you need to activate it using the active code in the PDF file. If you couldn't do that, check your active code and proxy, and you can always see your info from the settings here. As you can see, there are different categories and items to choose from, and you can preview each item by hovering your mouse over it. Then you can click on the Create button to add it as a comp and start working on it. Now by selecting the this layer, you can edit the text from the current under the Typo King panel. Let's replace the text here. And click on Apply. And this is our new title. To change the colors, you can click on the color settings in the Typo King panel. Then change the colors from the Effect Controls panel. You can also turn off the background if you like. Then you can go to your comp and see that there are markers to freeze in and out points. And you can change the duration of the title simply by dragging the freeze out marker to the point you want in the timeline. And you can always reset everything from the Typo King panel and the effect controls. Now let's try it in Premiere Pro. Inside Premiere, open up Essential Graphics panel from the window bar. Then inside the panel, right-click on the Essential Graphics and choose Manage Additional Folders. Then from the pop-up window, click on Add and choose whatever category you want from the Typo King Premiere folder. All right, all right, all right. And all the items of that category will be imported into your Essential Graphics. Then you can filter out other items by checking the local box and choosing the name of the category you just imported. Now I can choose any of these items and drag it on top of my footage. But we don't need the background here, so I can turn it off from the Essential Graphics panel or the Effect Controls. I will also change colors and text as well as the position of it until it fits the bill. Now 
Now let's try another item, again by importing it from Manage Additional Folders. Filter out everything else and choose the item we want to use. This one caught my eye, so I'm gonna drag it on top of the footage. Turn off the background and reposition it as well. And then match the colors with the footage. And lastly, set the duration. Let's try another one. Same as before with the background, colors, size, and position to fit it into the scene. Perfect. You can use the items of Typo King on pretty much every project you're working on, as it contains a variety of styles. I hope you find everything you need about the Typo King plugin in this video. And if you like the plugin and the items, you can get it from the link in the description. Thanks for being with us and subscribe if you want to see more.